All right, welcome all the YouTube and Twitch enjoyers. Uh, this time I am gonna go over the PTR Bard and I will go over the Spack and Swift Bard uh, at the same time. I'm a kind of person who plays a skill set that increases the uh, like highest amount of the identity meter. Uh, you know what I'm saying, right? But it doesn't mean that I run the the first tripod on Windows Music because this one doesn't give the shield. Yeah, okay. Anyways. So let's go. So Bard, the one thing that's noticeable is that is this new skill called Sonatine in English, right? In, in Korea, it's called Sonatine, but anyways. So let's just call it Sonatine. This is a new skill over Conviction Core. There's a skill called Conviction Core, which is a trash skill, and it's, it's replacing that. And if you see the tripod, the tripod will most be, uh, for the race back, it's gonna be um, the cooldown reduction, 7 second, and this one gives the brand, applies a brand that, you know, uh, increases the party damage by 10% for 5 seconds. And this one is the uh, one of the god tier, you know, uh, tripod for the bard. It increases the serenade, you know, identity meter, the meter by 225%, like same as, uh, uh, what's that called? The, the storm put loot, right? So, for those who doesn't know how much identity meter that this new skill increases, it increases like same amount or even or like slightly similar to wind of music. Yeah. Uh with this tripod, the shield. So if you see here, um I'm gonna use it. It's like uh playing bowling. Yeah, see. Yeah, and if I use it on the mob. Watch how much gate uh, meter that it gains. This much, yeah, and it's same as Wind of Music, both with the wealth rune. By the way, yeah, this uh, new skill will become a meta, uh, both for you know spec and a uh, swift bard. I'm guessing. So this is the kind of skill set that I am gonna use if I play swift bard in the live server like this so storm prelude is number one number one skill that increases a lot of meter right with the legendary wealth rune yeah see it increases the most amount yeah second uh in this skill set i believe is of course sona tine and the window music that has um heroic uh wealth rune yeah if you check it here yeah, makes sense, right? And this one, harp. By the way, the the reason why I'm using a harp is, uh, at least among those skills, the the rhapsody, buckshot, and the holic, uh, harp gives tremendously a lot of you know meters compared to those three skills for sure. That's why. Yeah, and and sh and harp also gives applies the the brand. If you see here, every time it hits, see there's a brand. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm running Bleed Rune, by the way. Yeah, Bleed Rune is important for support what, that I think because Bleed Rune scales from the attack. Supporters, the reason why supporters are weak is because supporting skills are weak. Not because uh, supporters have low attack. Their attack is literally the same as, you know, DPS, you know, um, classes. Unless they're running a curse or something like that. Makes sense, right? Yeah, so Bleed does a lot of damage even though you're a support. So I'm running Bleed on the uh, Harp Rune. Um, for the rest... Uh, I'm running focus run, uh, focus run on here, focus on here, and on another focus on the Sonic Five version as well. So three skills using a focus. Not running conviction judgment here. Uh, for the sound shock, I'm running. Um, sorry, I forgot to change it. I'm running quick recharge, guys. Quick recharge. Yeah, I tried this yesterday and it really suits well. Yeah. By the way, in KR there is legendary quick recharge. But you guys have uh, only heroic, but that's still okay. But I'm gonna uh, put the legendary one here, and you get the point here, right? Since Sound Shock has a very very short cooldown, especially as a Swift class, um, there's a very high you know chance whenever you use uh, Sound Shock, other skills uh, cooldown will get reduced. And you guys might think like, why would you run a quick recharge if? you're a full swiftness but you have to uh, uh, think it in an opposite way you're running uh what's that called quick recharge fits more on swiftness classes 
And here's the reason why, because Swift in these classes is very easy to proc the, the quick recharge. That's number one, because of low cooldown. And when those low cooldown skill uh, gets keep reduced, guys, then the potential becomes way much higher on the moment when it activates, when it procs. Makes sense, right? For the like, like non-swiftness classes, let's say you are running a quick recharge and let's say it procs, but like how much skill, like how much cooldown will it redu reduce? Like those skills already have a, a lot of cooldown, you know, anyways. You understand what I'm saying, right? That's why it fits swiftness classes more, the quick recharge rune, yeah. Okay, anyways, um, so I tried this um, from the zero gauge and how uh, you know much uh, second that it takes until I hit, reach three uh, you know identity meter bar, except for using the awakening, and it took like thirty three seconds for this build that I'm uh, introducing. You have to run max mana increase. You have to. I tried the conviction judgment, conviction on the sonic vibration, and the judgment on sound shock, which is the co common you know build, right? But even with conviction judgment, this build is still running out of a lot of mana. The only solution that I came up with by research is you have to run max mana increase. You have to, yeah. When the buff goes off, you use it like this and keep on using the skill. And when the cooldown comes back, you use it again. You can see that there is no mana problem even on a dummy. Yeah. Okay, use the Sonic Vibration. All the skills like this. And when the Storm Prude comes out, I think it's gonna hit uh, all three. Yeah. It took 33 seconds, exactly, right? And that's for Swiftness. And this time, let me quickly go over the SPAC one. So if I lower this to 608 and swap it to here, then that's SPAC Swift, right? For SPAC Swift, let me go on this first. Uh, let's not uh, use max mana increase. Okay, for SPAC one, um, you need Spirit Ocean, right? So let's run level three and let's let everything like this. I know that s like some SPAC bar does not run expert because it shows lower efficiency compared to Swiftness anyways, guys. But there are like at the same time, some SPAC bar who are running this as well because like they can't find, you know, any other good, better options than expert. It's just a personal preference i guess yeah like dep depending on their perspective for me let me just you know uh, retain the expert and go it like this yeah what's the uh, point of running spec bard guys spec bard uh gives a fat buff when you use the meter the three bubble right but to get the three to use that frequently as possible you need to come up with a skill set that increases the most amount of the meter right makes sense I was making a research on that, and uh, this is what I came up with. You just swap from the uh, from this build, from the Swift build. You swap the harp, yeah. Get rid of the harp, and you run stigma. Yeah, stigma increases a lot. Like you run three, two, which gives the brand, and two, three, two, two, and of course maxing out this one because it gives a lot of gauge. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting off the harp is because. Harp gives a lot of you know meter on a swift because harp has a short cooldown and theoretically harp can be on the field you know all, all day long. But for spec because of you know low cooldown, um I mean sorry because of high cooldown, like harp is kind of inefficient to run. That's why like I was finding a a skill that it that gives a lot of meter and stigma gave the most amount of meter other than the other than these seven you know skill. Yeah, and the one more thing that you guys can uh, come up with is that for this one. Yo, Memo, Spec Bar, like, Lotto Spec Bar uses this one. The one that gives a lot of gauge, right? Instead of the shield. This one is preference, to be honest, in, in my opinion. Because I've seen Lotto Spec Bar, I, I mean, most of the Spec Bar runs, runs shield, guys. I've seen, like, very few people who actually runs this. But when I try this, this does increase a lot of meter. It does increase a lot of meter because if I try it right here, watch from zero this much it's like almost like one fourth one fourth of a bubble that that's a lot right but even with that being said my recommendation is running the shield because of the high cooldown you're not gonna give a lot of shield or incoming damage reduction buff uh, anyways so you need to get 
you need to have a shielding uh you know tripod for your party and even at, with the shield tripod it still increases a lot of a uh, meter watch see that's a lot and for the rune of the stigma i'll recommend another wolf rune here or you can also run gale wing if you have a mana problem then you can also run um the focus yeah and uh, for this one uh you want to swap it back uh to conviction judgment for a spec bard guys all right now here we go let me try to you know see how much meter it gains as a new spec bard okay let's go it is absolutely crazy yeah and when the buff goes off now you use the throwing vibration activate the conviction and judgment like that and uh, when when the heavenly tune comes back you use it once again and keep on using it guys keep on using the skill yeah that took around 30 seconds let's say 30 yeah that took like 30 seconds so you can see that there's no like big difference guys on getting the meter between the spec and the swiftness yeah play what you ever want Anyways, thank you so much for watching and stay Giga Chess spam only for the next video. Symponia.